what's going on you guys it's a nice day out here I'm out here doing my last call I'm over here working on this old Linux and I get a whiff of some gas and this guy's got his grill set up with these little homemade little DIY setup here and buddy something is chooching over here so I am going to whip out the Chinese leak detector and yes this is straight from China and guys you can check me on this if you want to but you can see the model number on that you see that 8800 in there if you would like to look back at what is probably considered to be the best gas sniffing leak detector ever made definitely the most popular the old tiff 8800 big reddish orange looking thing with real hard plastic had a big gooseneck on it looked just like this with a big bulb on the end of it where the sensor was and it had a rechargeable battery in it that once they went dead they went dead they wouldn't hold the charge and then the thing was no good but back then those things probably ran 400 some dollars because that was top of the line well guys this is the exact same detector if you have ever owned one of those tiffs or you have ever heard one in action it sounds exactly like this it's the exact same tick mode you adjusted a dial on that thing until you heard this noise and then you backed it off and that is where you wanted to start searching had the same sensor up in the tip of the thing and guys this all has to do with patents this was Chinese technology that TIFF contracted to make that detector for them back in the day they had the exclusive rights to it the patents are up now so anybody can make this thing and now this Chinese company smart sensor right there I also have their manometer that is the same as the Testo 550 or no 510 yeah the Testo 510 you guys can laugh all you want but if you do a little research you'll confirm it and this is the exact same guts of that detector just put in a little cheap technology that they can mail out really cheap for 30 bucks and sell them like crazy on eBay but guys I am not kidding you out of all the sniffers I own this thing is the best it is unbelievable how good this thing works and we're gonna go over here and we're gonna do this right now live in action we're just gonna hit all these joints real quick and see what we can come up with you can bump this thing with a butane lighter and test it and it'll go off with just a little trace amount of gas just to make sure you're working calibrated and all that good stuff I'm thinking most of it is coming from right up there where his grill is at but usually the, well right there okay usually I was gonna say a lot of times the bottom joint you know like on a, a gas meter natural gas that riser coming out of the ground a lot of times where you'll get your leak and see I'm turned down okay so we got a little tick there I'm turned down to real low sensitivity if I want to dial it up just a little smidge over here on the sensitivity increase that tick sound just a little bit then we can come back in here let's check this joint again yeah there's definitely something right there and that is the exact sound the old tiff made for you guys that had one of those things I had one on my van for years that is what you heard yeah somewhere right over here on this front edge so let's see here I'm gonna put a little bit of soap on that and then I want to search the bottom of his grill up there because I have a suspicion a lot of that is coming from up there I'm gonna try the snoop on here
All right, so this thing, you know, it's got that little coily spout that you pull out of there. Give me just a second, guys. I'm gonna do this with two hands so I can squirt it right on the bottom of that joint, put it where I want it, and then I'll be right back. All right, you guys, so we're back. We've got the snoop on there. We put it right on that bottom joint, and she's a fizzing. Oh, where are we at? Can you see this bottom joint right there? We're starting to get the fizz bubbles around there. Man. Come on. There, can you see it? It'll focus. We're getting the little fizzes all around there. So we are definitely leaking on that joint our little Chinese detector wasn't in line she's a fizzing up there nicely you can actually kind of see it popping and cracking see it and see it was definitely leaking a little more around that front and the back side than it was right over here on this side. So that's right where the detector said it was. All right. So there's a leak confirmed there. Little one on the bottom of that joint. And see, these bubbles do not set the detector off. The bubbles leaked all the way down through these other couplings. You can see that they're wet. And I'm right here on that, and I'm not picking up anything. This thing don't just go off at random. But when I get right back up here, right there it goes. So we're definitely there on that joint. See? There it is. Okay. So there's one down. And I'm almost betting that he's... Whoa, yeah. Oh, baby. There she is. She's screaming. So now what I've got to do is turn down the sensitivity to a very slow tick. And I'm going to come up in here. Oh, God, yeah, God. Yeah, we got some freaking leakage going on up in here. See, I'm going to dial it back some more. I'm going to come back just about as far as we can get it. So right there's his supply coming in. There's his coupling, which would be one of the most suspicious places that you would want to look. Not really anything there. Yeah, God, I can smell it strong right here, guys. This needs to be shut off. Okay, so nothing over there. Might have dialed back. Whoa, right there. Whoa, right there. All right, so let's go back over here. So we hit that joint. We didn't have anything there. in here we didn't really have anything but then we work our way right over here to this last spot and man she was screaming right there where was she right there that is it guys LEDs light up there so that gives you a little bit of an idea of the size of your leak so like over 
So over here, if I turn my sensitivity up just a little bit more because now we're back over here at the small leak, we get back in here where we were. See if you're down too low, you won't really be able to pick that up because I had to turn it all the way down for that other one. That's a big leak up there. So let me get my kick rate just right. There we go. Now we should be able to get this one again. So see, right there it is. And it's gonna be very low. You see that LED just barely goes up, but then when I find just the right spot, see now it starts jumping up. So it's definitely a little more toward the left. If you guys can hear me over that thing. But those LEDs are actually usable. They, they will kind of let you know the size of that leak. So now I'm gonna dial all the way back down here again. And we'll go up to this one more time. Let me get back, let me get back over here. I'm working from the deck. I'm down below the deck and this is above the deck. That is definitely screaming right there. I'm gonna be shutting this stuff off. Okay, and it's just the on off switch. And right there's the number on this thing. And I'm telling you guys, I swear by it. I actually know a buddy that works at the gas company around here and he was out working on a job in a parking lot. And there was a valve that was buried down in the parking lot in the asphalt. And he, he knew he had a leak down there, and he had confirmed that with his detector, and a crew was going to be coming out later to fix it. But I was like, man, let me try this little Chinese thing. Let's see how this works. And, of course, he did what everybody else did. They laughed at my little plastic piece of junk until I stuck it down in that hole and found the leak, confirmed it, then started dialing back the sensitivity down to the point where I was able to figure out it was on the bottom side of that valve. And his big expensive detector that the gas company bought wouldn't even do that. So I was able to pinpoint that, hey, it's leaking on the bottom side. So the thing works, guys. I mean, you can laugh if you want to, but hell far, the thing works. Let me see if I can get some more bubbles on this. I like my snoop, because you can pinpoint it, put it right where you want it there. We'll let that sit for a minute. She's already starting to fizz up a little bit. Getting those little micro bubbles. Look like spit coming up there. Put this up here. Buddy, that's where it's leaking. That looks like that's the knob, I'm guessing, right up above there. I can't really see. Maybe you can see. Is there a knob up there that turns the grill on probably? Yeah, that's probably attached to the knob. And that freaking thing is leaking. Oh, yeah. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Ooh, there she is. So there we got the snope in action. Look at them bubbles. And I believe that's right where the Chinese detector said it was going to be. So again, guys, you saw that right there. Live action with me. Let's put a little more up there. Let's do her one more time. If I can hold still. Quit shaking. Look at that. Man, it's just boiling out of there, guys. How the hell have they not smelled this? So anyway, guys, sorry for all the moving around. I'm sure I made you dizzy, but hell, I'm not a professional like these other guys. I got a freaking phone. I'm out here working, man. It's after five o'clock and I'm out here doing stuff that ain't even my job, trying to keep these people from blowing up. Can you see that? It's already fizzing back up there. 
So anyway, guys, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. The Snope and the Chinese leak detector. Banging it out here, guys. Found those leaks for these people. That guy's going to come out here, light a freaking match, and blow himself off the deck. But anyway, guys, I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you not making fun of me. The proof is in the pudding. And there it was, guys. That stuff works. So anyway, leave me a comment below. Try not to be too bad on me there. If you've ever used one of those old TIFF detectors, the 8800 like I was talking about, confirm what I was saying, that that is the exact sound that that old detector made. And that's exactly how it operated with a one knob sensitivity. Anyway, guys, I appreciate you watching. Like and subscribe. And I will catch you next time. See ya.